Catherine goes down. On January 26th, the season was going great. And then... An utterly stunning start to this race. So basically from day one after the crash, because I was in the lead for the overall, we didn't, we, we couldn't rule out the possibility of returning to racing sooner if I seemed to be recovering faster. It's been 38 seconds, but it's on pause because my arm teams drop too much. Jackie Wiles and the Stiefel U.S. Ski Team oh, in the second place! Oh into the second place position! Oh my god! Oh my god. Woo. You okay there? Wow! Oh my god, that's so weird. This has been a process of test, recover, progress, test, recover, progress. It's 10 to 12 hours a day. Going on hour 10 right now. I am so lucky in every way to not have it even worse after that crash. I'm gonna go try skiing for the first time. Thank you. Deep breath. Do you want me to open it? No. <laughs> no, no, I just need to pin it. Oh. See that? Great. Here we go. Should be fun. And we'll, yeah. Should be fun. I'm a little nervous to see how it feels, but it should be fun. Um, things are moving really fast, but not quite fast enough to make it for Andorra, yeah. but... Yeah. But it's really positive, yeah. still. Yeah. So... Awesome. That's just not for a, not to feel down about no, the day. Yeah. You forget, kind of feeling-wise, that it's eight days. Yeah. It feels <laughs> like so long. It feels like... like eight yeah. days, I thought like, what? That's so true, it's Sunday. It seems like forever. Happened on Friday. And we are so thankful, all like, you know, when it's just one week out, and we just crash seeing it on TV. Yeah. You know, like it's great that you're standing here. Yeah. And we are like actually thinking about doing stuff like you said, it's like so positive. Yeah. yeah. Not being able to race in Andorra significantly changed my chances for the overall globe. And I had to come to terms with that. Basically my medical guidelines were proceed as tolerated literally, which actually leaves quite a lot of gray area in a situation where basically everybody wants black and white. Yeah, so what's made the last couple of weeks a little bit tricky is, of course, we were dealing with an MCL sprain, but we were also dealing with a bone bruise and injuries to the tibiofibular ligament, both proximally at the knee and as well as the ankle. And the complicated thing with this is each one of these structures reacts to stress a little bit differently. So we've had to get a little bit creative. We've had a couple of roadblocks here and there, but everything's starting to come together. So here we are. I've also been watching the races and I've been so inspired by so many performances, so many athletes having incredible races. So many of my teammates, Jackie and Cortina, Paul and AJ and Andorra, Coogs with some of her basically just career besting herself every single race that she starts. Lara and Federica through the whole season. There's been so many fun performances to watch and their performances have really made a tough time for me a lot brighter. When I race and I feel like I'm confident that I can win, that I'm able to, it's because I'm able to push the line in a way, knowing that I can just snap off the turns and make it. 
Like I don't give an extra inch of space on any turn in order to make the course. And right now, today, in order to make all the turns in the 15 gate course, I needed to back off my line. We all kind of hope and expect that every session is gonna be better than the last session, but realistically, we're gonna have some that are more challenging. So we can't expect that it's gonna be a linear progression. No. We're still trending upward, we're still making progress, we still did more than two days ago. So keep your head up. We'll get there. And Ori is a place that has carried more meaning throughout the course of my career than than most places, I would say. And I don't know, with that I get sort of memories of all of our experience here has come back in flashes. Here is the race slope. They're getting it all prepped. They're building the finish area and we just came up to check it out. I guess I'm just looking forward to seeing how everything feels. Maybe my only goal for the rest of the season is literally just get back into a race and show my good skiing. And I hope it's, I hope it's fun. I hope it's emotional. I don't know, kind of being here, just in the finish looking at the race hill, gets me a little bit more excited for this weekend. Mikhail in the gate. Mikhail on. <laughs>